<laughs> Somebody, please you get this. You want to crack a big? You want a honey? Yeah, some Heineken. Right okay, okay. okay. You got a plug already. Yeah, um, right, the bathroom is right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah. This, yeah. yeah. So that's the artist. Dual just, drama in the building. That yes. was that was the song we were just playing, right? Yes, he so, some fire. Oh, that was shit? Yeah. Yes. Oh, that shit was dope. Uh-huh. It was, right? Uh-huh. I told you. So, but we're going to get to Hot Topics. Hold on, before we get to Hot Topics, we also got somebody else sitting up here with us. That, and I'm getting to that. Oh, oh shit. Like, my fault. Right you said that. Shut the fuck up. Goodness. So, you know we got Hot Topics with Jigs. And can you let the world know who you are? Rado Beats. Rado Beats. So what do you do, Rado Beats? I make beats. <laughs> make beats? Yeah. I make beats and I run bangingtables.com as the website all about producers. Oh, and that's real dope. So, like, how long you been in the game? Well, I've been doing a, a website for about maybe six years now. Um, and just uh, pretty much just promoting producers, interviewing producers that's already established or up and coming. And, you know, just... Uh, Educating the, the the dudes that's trying to be producers. That's dope. Mm, that's yeah. dope. And I can respect that. And I appreciate you chiming in on our hot topics this week. Definitely. What's up, Jim? Hey, shit. I'm just happy to be here another Tuesday. Above ground. Can't complain. Yeah, you I know. I doing something strange for a little bit of change. Like we all do. Yeah, man. Yeah, so... Our hot topics today is the prodigy vandalism. Now, of course, we've been following this story for a long time. Not because we're just media or whatever, but because Mm -hmm. we absolutely fans. Two weeks before recap, two weeks before he died, I started off my birthday at the Jazz Blue Note. Yes. Yes, then he did Summer Jam. Of course. And then two weeks later, he passed away. We had the whole show dedicated to him and everything. Mm-hmm. And, you know, now that they have a mural in Queensbridge, it's like the block off where there's little stores. Is that, I know we're going to get to that. And, the you know, people came together and did a mural for him. Mm-hmm. It's a block away from the Nas mural. Okay. And then somebody vandalized it. They, they put uh, white paint over it to cover it. Can we get to that? Oh, you seeing it? Yeah, so they just defa- defaced it. Yeah. So what y'all think about that? Uh, mm, it's fucked up. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. somebody took the time out to put that art piece up. You know what I mean? It's people out there that he touched their lives in one way or another, and it was just trying to play homage, play respect. So you're supposed to have put whatever personal beefs or disagreements you had with that man and let it rest with him, you know what I mean? Don't go out there to face it because now you're hurting other people that he loved and touched and affect. It's not just about the painting on the wall, it's about what it symbolizes. So you just basically spitting on his grave type yeah. shit, you know what I mean? And it's, I think it's a bigger hit on hip hop culture. Yes. Because mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, you know, these hip hop, you know, New York is the mecca of hip hop. <laughs> Uh, 